everyone, it's Amber again, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to share with you this really beautiful accordion flip book that I created, and I'm also going to do a tutorial. I'm so pleased with how this came out, and I use the gorgeous Vintage Valentine paper pad. I showed it to you in my Hobby Lobby haul. So I had so much fun creating this. It's like a kind of a new way to do a flip book. I'm sure, you know, others have done a flip book this way, but I used to make mini albums um, with this method. And my inspiration and the tutorial that taught me how to make this is from one of my absolute favorite crafters here on YouTube, Cynthia. And she is the Scrappy Bookworm One. So I'm going to link her channel below because she has, she honestly is such an inspiration and is so amazing. So I'm going to link the video that she did a tutorial for this accordion style album. But I turned mine into a flip book for a pen pal. So I'm going to share mine with you and then I hope you stick around for the tutorial so you can make your own. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have this pink paper here so that way it doesn't blend in with my tabletop. Um, so I hope you guys can see this. And actually, you know what? Let's see. Does this... Can you see it better like that? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and flip through. So I absolutely love this closure that I did. And it's all it is is a piece of lace. It's like a crocheted piece of lace. And I just simply tied it and like just wrapped it around. Didn't even do a knot or anything. I just wrapped it around and did one simple little tie around. And I think that's really, really a great idea, especially with a vintage flip book. It kind of just adds to the shabbiness of it. So this is how this accordion album works. It's basically, um, if you haven't seen these, you just flip it open like a book, like normal. So this is actually a flip book. I decorated the front very simply with just a doily from Target, some of the pattern paper, of course, from that Vintage Valentine collection, a little scrap of lace, and then I had a Vintage Valentine card in my stash, and I just cut it in half. And then my sister had these heart wood veneers, and I just placed two of them down there. So the cover's very simple. And then you just flip it open like this, and you can do now whatever you want in here for your pen pal. So I like to give a lot of Project Life cards and little cute journal cards when I send um, flip books. So what this is here is a clear pocket from Target and you've heard me talk about those before. It's adhesive. So I just stuck a cute little embellishment that I had in my stash and actually my sister gave me this as well. So this is a cute little embellishment that says loved and my sister gave me a lot of this stuff. Um, and these are just some really cute kind of um, vintage style journaling cards that I had in my stash. Journaling cards. And those just get stuck right back into there. And these clear pockets are awesome for this kind of stuff. And then here I created a really cute lace pocket out of the same lace that I used for the trim. And I just picked this lace up at Joanne Fabrics. And then in here, I put some journal cards, and this says a note for you. And I'm actually going to write a little note on there for my pen pal. So I already know who I'm sending this to, and I really hope she likes it. And then over here, I created a cute little waterfall effect. And so right here is what I'm going to do is... I'm going to do like my mail tag. So I'm going to do my currently list here, which is like my faves. And then here I thought I'd do like a playlist of all the favorite, my music that I'm listening to right now. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do on the third one. And then here's actually a mat here too that you can um, do something with or your pen pal can. So I thought that was a cute little touch. And then I just added this gold um, heart cut out. And then here, it's just a gold die cut that my sister Brie gave me, and it says lovely. And I just left this blank, um, so maybe I will take, like, a tag and put some washi samples around it and pin it here. 
And then here, this is so cute. I love this paper. It's like the hot air balloon. And I just made a diagonal pocket. And it was really easy. You just cut it, you know, out of the paper and then glue two sides down. And then I put a little gold heart down here. And my sister had this die cut in her stash and it went perfect. So she gave that to me to add to this page. And over here you can write a little note to your pen pal or um, you can even just leave it blank and let them do whatever they want over here. And then with the scraps from the paper, which you're going to see in the tutorial where I got these from, I made a bunch of tags out of the paper and I just tucked them into this side pocket. So there's the back cover and you think that's the end, but it's not because then you open it this way. It's so cute. So here I thought was so cool. My sister also, Bree, had this story in her stash and she gave that to me. I made a side pocket out of the scrap and you're going to see how I do that in the tutorial. And I took these two lined large journaling cards and I have them clipped with a heart paper clip. And it says story, so I'm going to write my pen pal a cute little story on this. And flipbooks have no rules, you guys. You can do whatever you want in your own flipbook. Like, you can put whatever goodies you want. You can make it a photo flipbook. You can do whatever you want. There's no rules. Okay, so the next page, I just took this journal card and I um, glued it down on two sides. And I just included some goodies. So I included a stack of the white doilies from Hobby Lobby. And then a cute gold journaling card. And it's all distressed and vintage. And then I just tuck those into there. Next page, I love this page. I did another side pocket and I included a bunch of journaling cards in there. And over here I did another Target clear pocket and I included a bunch of uh, some ribbon that I got. So it's like a sample of ribbon, another gold paper clip, and a die cut. And then I put a bunch of pink doilies in this side and I just folded them in half so they'd fit. And then we are back at the beginning. So that's my cute little accordion flip book and then you just tie it up. Like I said, real easy, you just wrap it like this and it's the perfect little gift for your pen pal. So I'm gonna finish this off, you know, write my currently list and everything and add some more goodies but I wanted to go ahead and do a tutorial here on my channel so you guys can um, go and create some of these for your pen pals. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so instead of going through all the um, materials that you're going to need, I'm just going to show you along the way. So the first thing you're going to need is a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Now this should be pretty sturdy. It doesn't have to be like super thick, but this is going to be the base of your flip book. So the first thing you're going to do with this is you're going to cut it in half at 6 inches. This next part that you're going to need is a little bit inconvenient, but I think that we all have a scrap bag, right? Don't we all have scraps that we need to use up? So the next piece you're going to need measures one by six. So just get into your scrap bin, find a piece that matches the 12 by 12 paper that you chose, you know, close as possible. I actually had some of the same paper in my scrap um, bin, so that's going to be one by six. Now you're going to go ahead and get out your scoreboard. Right now near me all I have is my little mini one. <laughs> and you can use the big one for this, but I have my mini one out. I'm going to go ahead and score in here. So you're going to take one of your 6x12 pieces and just line it up on the long side. And you're going to score at 4 inches. Then you're going to take it off, flip it over, Line it up again and score it four inches again. Now, if you were on your big scoreboard, you would just score at four and at eight. So you get what I'm doing. This is a four by six piece, all three of these. So you're going to do four and eight. But since I just had my little one, I just flipped it around. So you're going to go ahead and do that to both pieces. Okay, so now we've got both of our pieces scored. And then you're going to take your little tiny 1 by 6 inch piece, line it up on the 1 inch side, and you're going to score at a half an inch. So right in half at half an inch. So now what we have are these three pieces. Let me just get a quick sip of coffee. So 
We're not going to fold the score lines just yet. I find it much easier to just work with them flat for right now. This is going to be your hinge piece and your binding piece to get these two pieces together. So you are going to go ahead and fold on your score line for this piece. Crease it with your bone folder. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add adhesive to both sides. Don't add it to the middle fold because that's going to have to actually fold. So I'm just going to use my ATG gun for this and I'm going to be kind of generous with it and add a bunch of adhesive to each side without going over the score line. And I have glitter everywhere because my sister spilled glitter last night. <laughs> so if you see little specks of glitter in my project, it's not on purpose. <laughs> okay. So now we have, I'm going to actually do a close up more. So now we have our one by six inch piece and it's filled with adhesive. So you're going to take your two, your two six by 12. So here's one, here's one. And you're just going to put them next to each other like this. Because you need them to be connected. Okay. So. What you're going to do first is you are going to take this piece and attach it to the hinge. So be very careful that you don't go over the score line, but you also have to be careful and make sure you line it up really straight. I added half of that hinge to this paper. Okay, and now all I'm going to do is add this side to the other side of the hinge. Just make sure I line it up. There we go. So now let me show you what this looks like. We've got both pieces attached to the hinge. So here is our long piece all scored. So now we have this long piece and this is the easy part. You're just going to fold it like an accordion. So you know how to do that. You just fold over. The first piece goes over and then it goes under. And just keep folding like an accordion. It was so easy, wasn't it? So this is our naked flip book. And this is how it is. So right here we have that, 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 that. Here's the back cover. And then you open again this way and you're back to the front. So now all we have to do is cover and decorate all these pages. So in my album, I'm going to show you what we're going to do here on camera and then I have a little surprise at the end of the video. For this, um, I'm going to show you how to do the lace pocket. Well, first of all, we're going to cover every single one of our panels. Like, we're going to cover all 12 sides with the paper. And I'm going to show you how to do the lace pocket. I'm going to show you how to do the waterfall how to do this little side pocket, how to do this side pocket, and this side pocket. So we're going to do that here on camera, and, and then I'll show you where we're going to go from there. So first thing we need to do is cover all 12 of these 4x6 blank pages. We're using the Vintage Valentine Collection again. I want to use this paper pad up. So what I did is I cut down 12, and I'm going to put the measurement here on the screen. All 12 pieces down to 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 7 eighths. And all that does is it leaves 1 eighth of an inch border all the way around. If you want a quarter inch border, do three and three quarters by five and three quarters. You can do that, but I like to just have an eighth of an inch. So those were the measurements that I used to cut this. 
and out of a six by six piece of paper, what you are ending up left with is a bunch of strips that are this size. So this, these are where those pockets come in and then I'm gonna show you what we do with the rest of the scraps. So the first thing I like to do is I like to pick my front cover and my back cover. And the rest of the pages don't really matter. You can just put them in any order that you want. So I like to make the front cover not so busy. So like that would be really pretty. I think that's gonna be my front cover. Stripes on the back cover, how about that? So the, that's gonna be my front and back cover. And so those are the first ones I'm gonna actually glue down. pages and here's a quick little flip through isn't this paper beautiful so now it's time to add our cute little pockets and little things like that so the first thing I'm gonna do is open up the first page here and I'm gonna add the little lace pocket right here so I just got this lace at Joanne fabrics and it was one dollar and I've used this so much so I have a little pin holding it closed and all you're going to do is measure, you know, just eyeball the measurement and then just snip that off with your scissors. Lace for this, any lace will make a pocket. So I'm going to take this and I don't want to obstruct this score line so I'm going to kind of scoot it a little bit over further and I might have to trim some of that off. And this is meant to be shabby and vintage, so it does not have to be perfect. So then to do this, I'm just going to take my glue gun and I'm just going to glue three sides here and then just lay the lace down. And I'm gluing the paper because the lace has like a bunch of holes in it, obviously, and I think we'll be better off if we just glue the paper. So like I said, hot glue for me does the trick. Be careful that you don't burn yourself, especially if you have a high temp glue gun. Um, but I just like to set it down and then just kind of press it very quickly and it will stay down. I'll let that dry for just a minute and we're going to go ahead and add our second pocket, which happens to be a cute little side. Okay, so I still have glue all over my fingers, but that's okay. So we've got our little lace pocket, and you can stick little cute things in there. So let's go ahead and move on. The next page, and I'm not going to design this exactly how mine was, so we can put the little pockets on whatever pages we think here. So I like to go to like more of a plain page like this, and add something to it. So I think this page we're going to add that. Does that match? No, that's too red. Ooh, maybe over here. That would be pretty. A little side pocket there. So what you do to make a side pocket is you take the scrap. So out of the 6x6 six six paper, I cut this little page out, and this is the scrap that you have left. So this here, you're just going to glue on three sides, and then it's going to become a side loading pocket. Now for this, I like to use wet glue and I use this art glitter glue, and no, it doesn't have glitter in it. <laughs> it's just a really good wet glue. So when we use wet glue, we all know it dries clear. So you, like this art glitter glue goes a long way, so I just put a very thin line on three sides, and then I'm gonna glue it down. And this is actually a really good idea and you can do this with any scraps so like you can make a smaller pocket like here on the bottom if you wanted but since we had these strips already from the scraps I went ahead and utilized them so that's why we're going to just do a cute little side pocket so 
in here you can fit, you know, little tags, little anything, like a bunch of journaling cards. It's a pretty good size pocket. So let's go and find another page to do another side pocket with this scrap. So now that became a pocket. Again, you can put little cute little anything in there. So now that we've got our pockets down, we, oh actually, you know what, we have one more pocket to make. And let's see where I wanna put it. There, no pocket here. So let's do it on this page. So I'm gonna bust this out again and go through my scraps, and, or go through the rest of the paper that I have. And let's see what will go good. That one has kind of some red in it. So maybe this stripe page, that would be pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and tear that out and make a cute little side pocket. So all you do, you don't even have to like measure anything, you just eyeball. Just make sure you have a straight edge here and a straight edge there and you just simply cut out a weird triangle. So I had to trim it down just a little to fit. but. You get the picture, you just kind of go there and then you're going to glue this side and this side and then it's going to become a cute diagonal pocket. I think this is cool that we're using, you know, we're utilizing the paper as much as we can because this paper obviously is just six by six pad, there's no really cut aparts or anything like that. So we're kind of having to create our own little um, interactive things which is really, really fun. So now look what we have, you guys. We have a cute little pocket here. So plenty of room to add goodies or anything you want for your pen pal. I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside because I'm gonna show you how to make the cascading you know, waterfall flip. Okay, you guys, so what you're gonna need for this waterfall, let me show you in my album again. This little cute little flippy thing. This is what you're going to need. You're going to need three pieces of the pattern paper that measure three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then you're going to need one piece that measures three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And what we're going to do is take our scoreboard again. I guess you do need it again. And each of these you're going to put on the four and a quarter side. So this is the four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And you're going to score this at one quarter inch. So that is way over here. You're gonna score these at one quarter inch. So do that to each of your pages, except for the um, last one that's a little bit bigger. This one you're gonna leave like this. You're not gonna score it at all. Okay, so now we're gonna take our three pieces and we're gonna score them and crease them down at the score line. So that's a very, very small little score, but score line, but we're just gonna crease them down and then you're gonna have something that looks like this. Okay, so do that to each of your pieces. So now you've got three pieces folded at the score line and then this piece here, and this is the base piece. You're gonna take your corner rounder now. You can have do any corner rounder or you don't have to round the corners if you don't want to. I just think it looks nice. And you're gonna take all four pieces and just round the bottom two corners. Actually, I think I can stack these and round them all at once. So now all of our bottom corners are rounded. So now what you do is you take your base piece right here. You are going to decide what order you want these in. So I think I like the cute vintage one on the top. I think I like them in this order. So you're going to take the first piece and you're going to add adhesive to the design side of your score line, so the top part because it's gonna flap over and glue down like this, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna take my ATG gun, and it's exactly quarter inch um, here, so that's how wide my ATG tape is. So I'm gonna add some adhesive, and then I'm gonna take it, fold it down, 
and glue it to the base. And the base is exactly three and a quarter inches wide as well, so it'll fit perfectly. And just get it all the way up to the top. Make sure you do it straight and just crease it down and then smooth it with your bone folder. And there you go. There's your first flip. So the next thing you're going to do is keep this open like this. Take your next page, add adhesive again, and this time you're going to meet it with the bottom of this one. That's where you're going to meet it at, here. So let's go ahead and add our adhesive. Fold it down and meet the bottom of this score, or I'm sorry, the bottom of this edge and glue it down as straight as possible. Like I said, it's exactly three and a quarter inches, so it should fit perfectly. And it's pretty important that you get these straight because otherwise you're gonna have like crooked, you know, pages when you flip them up. So there we are, we've glued that down. You see that, where I had that? And then that one flips up. So see how that's kind of cascading? And then you've got this here. Here's the bottom edge. I'm gonna glue that one down, just like we did the other one. So look what we just made. We just made the cute little cascading waterfall flip. And you can write all of your little notes, your tag info, whatever, on these blank white sheets. And then you've also got this. So then all you have to do is add adhesive to the back and glue it down to your flip book. So let's choose the page we want to do that. And so that's cute. I think, let's see, this page is pretty plain. We don't have anything and it matches over here. So that's a good spot, right? So I think that's a good spot. Let's go ahead and glue it there. I think that's super cute, you guys. So here's our little flip through so far. Here's the cover, which is like, you know, ready to decorate up. And here is our lace pocket, which I love. Our little side pocket. Our flip page. The back cover. Then here's another side pocket. Our corner pocket. And back to the front. Now comes the surprise. As you know, I have this flip book already made and I'm gonna send it to one of my dear friends. And I don't think I need another one. So, so I'm gonna be giving this away. So somebody can take our base that we've created and decorate it, personalized to send to their pen pal. So I'm gonna show you what all you're gonna get if you win this giveaway, and then I'm gonna go over the rules of the giveaway, okay? So you're gonna get this flip book that we just created here on camera. And as you can see in mine, I utilized a bunch of the papers um, for my goodies inside. So what I'm gonna give you, the rest of the six by six sheets. So you're gonna get this one, this one, one, you're going to get the rest of all the 6x6 six six sheets that were in the vintage Valentine paper pad. So you're going to get all these 6x6 six six. and with the rest of the scraps that we had from the strips after we cut them to cover the pages, you're going to get all these tags. So this is just kind of like a starting out base, you know, very just kind of naked for you to decorate and so you're gonna get all those tags all those pages and as you know in my flip book I had two of the Target clear adhesive pockets so guess what I'm gonna be including three for you to use as you'd like so three Target clear pockets. I'm also going to be including this long scrap of ribbon so you can close your flip book just like I closed mine. So that's gonna come with it. And since this paper doesn't have cutouts, I'm gonna actually be including some Valentine journal cards. 
So you're going to get this 4 by 6 and this 4 by 6 and now these you'll have to cut down to fit in the pockets but that's okay. You can just cut it here and then around the corners and I'm including this cute little 3 by 4 this one here and they're both double sided and these are cute for like these are cute for flip books because they've got the little bullet points there you're going to be in that one that's double sided and I'm including this love and this one with gold hearts and last but not least I'm going to give you two of the heart paper clips just like I used in my flip book so this is just a cute little kit that I'm going to be giving away um, to thank you for watching this tutorial in my video. Here are the rules if you'd like to win this. You must be a subscriber of my channel and new subbies are welcome. Um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And then if you're not 18 years old or older, please make sure that you get your parents permission to enter. This is going to be only available to the U.S. and I'm so sorry about that, but it's just a quick little giveaway and I really don't want to spend a lot on shipping. The last requirement is that you just make a comment um, in below and just let me know. Um, let's see, I'm going to do a fun one. Hmm. What are your top three favorite movies? Is that good? <laughs> that sounds fun. What are your top three favorite movies? Thank you all so much for watching this tutorial and I'm going to go ahead and close the giveaway at 11.59 p.m. on Saturday, January 27th. So good luck to everybody and again, thank you so much for watching. This was so much fun to make and I'm glad I was able to show you all the process. I'm going to go ahead and link Cynthia's video below where I got my inspiration. And I hope you all have a great week, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!